Hey gang, Poppy here. If you're not over the age of 18, go away. Seriously, go. Go, 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 go. I don't want you here. This show is for old men. So unless you got gray hair, uh, old ladies, you're welcome too. If you're under 18, get out. Get out. Okay, go. Hi. This is a dramatic presentation called Old Man Drinking Green Liquid. Actually, I think the rear end of a cane toad would taste better. That's right, gang. It's St. <laughs> Patty's Day early and Poppy's computer <laughs> Uh, this video has absolutely nothing to do with Poppy's Beer Review for Loco Hemp, a beverage from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Nothing to do with that at all. But whatever this is, <laughs> Nana tells me is 99 cents a can. Well, in Poppy's workshop, we have some rules. Whatever it takes, anything that works, you know, whatever works is good. Whatever works better is better. Whatever works best is out of our price range. And when we can finally afford one, it'll be three generations out of day. And then there's the last one. Make it count. Don't use cheap garbage materials when you want fine results. For example, Sparex pickling compound. You gotta be real careful of that stuff. It's falsely safe. People get, oh, it's just Sparex. These holes in their clothes and their skin. Dissolves that thin brass pipe in. The pea trap in their sink as they pour the used Sparex down. I found that one out. Told Mom, I don't know. So if Yurk wouldn't have done that, no, 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 no. First of all, I wouldn't have put sulfuric down the kitchen drain. To eat that thin brass tubing that was chrome plated you know sink drain p trap you know really no no spare x garbage sulfuric acid get yourself a pint bottle of 999 percent sulfuric acid it'll last you 10 years in your pickling Nice big jar. You keep it in when you're not using it. Maybe a Pyrex casserole dish to pickle in. Pour some in. 
take your part, put it in the fluid, set it on your hot plate, dead low. You're not in a big hurry to destroy this part, are you? No. Dead low. Let it come up to temperature slowly. Every once in a while, every five minutes or so, you look in. When you see it's all that color of metal you're expecting to see, white or yellow or red, purple even. Purple? Purple metal, he says? Go to Silicon Valley and scream, Purple Plague! In the front reception room at Google. People will just ah, die. Uh, purple Plague is uh, 78 and a fraction percent gold and 21 and a fraction percent aluminum. In the microelectronics industry where they have those two metals together, it's called Purple Plague. And it spreads. I mean, it spreads faster than AIDS did in 1981. No, it's not too soon. Anyway, uh, Purple Plague. I always wanted to work with a little bit and make little grapes. I mean, if I were going to do something like Black Hills Gold, I'd want my grapes to be purple. Green for the leaves, no problem. Brown for the stems, a little bit of iron in my gold. Yeah. Uh, in an email communication with another YouTube creator just yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, the correspondent, I don't have permission to disclose who I talk with at the moment. So the correspondent asked me, did I you much work with silver. Oh, way too much. Oh, way too much. Talk about pain in the butt. The silver. All of your procedures. Perfect. It don't matter. Fine silver is gonna make love to you with a chainsaw. <laughs> That's number one reason that we have sterling silver. That little fraction of copper keeps the silver crystals from growing humongously and making everything brittle. Joins between crystals of silver are very, very fragile. Uh, fine silver, like bezel wire, you got one shot. Get it soldered. Because the crystals grow dendritically with the heat of trying to solder a silver bezel fine silver bezel. Me, I had to make a bezel. Sterling. And if sterling didn't sound good, I said, all right, palladium. Much prefer palladium for the bezel. I do.
What is it? It's green. If you know which episode of Star Trek <laughs> that comes from, Frankly, I think they used NyQuil to shoot. <laughs> oh. Anyway, this has been a dramatic presentation. Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth. No, it would not. Good night from California.